Well, there's a new type of battery tech that's on the horizon that's probably going to be wearable. You know, I, I almost think it's going to be a fashion statement, too. Um, it's called aluminum-type batteries rather than using lithium. The big, big advantage is that instead of taking hours to charge, it takes only like a minute or two. Number two, it's flexible. It can be folded and bent. So in other words, it can actually be a wearable. It could be a wearable attire. It's much lighter. It won't catch on fire. Um, there's also, uh, it, it's, it, it's also much cheaper material because aluminum is highly you know abundant throughout the world so you could probably even have it as wearable fashion i would almost guarantee you instead of taking hours to charge it's only going to take a minute and it's incredibly durable besides you know it could be folded it could be bent in other words implying that it could be worn as some type of outerwear you know almost like aluminum foil right but it's aluminum it's just it's aluminum based versus lithium you know, I think it's uh, Bolivia is the country that has a lot of lithium. Well, you know, they're a poor country, and they're thinking, wow, we got all the lithium in the world, and they need it. Well, guess what? I guess they found a new technology for aluminum. So, hey, you know, who knows? Maybe you could be having aluminum perms in your hair. Uh, brain, Extra brain power with batteries function. I don't know, man. This could be power in your your bio brain tuner for crying out loud permanently right <laughs> giving a little more uh, ESP intuition but I don't know I'm just kidding on that but the thing is uh, it's so strong and it's so durable besides being able to be flexed in all kinds of different directions and things it can you can actually drill a hole in it so it'll still work you can't do that with other batteries and it's very very safe it's non-toxic it won't catch on fire it you know there's no in other words, with a lithium-ion battery, you know, one of the biggest problems with it is that it's if it catches on fire, it's it's a worse fire than a gasoline fire. It's ridiculous. It's actually dangerous. And the other thing is, like, I, I just, you know, it's so much cheaper. You know, obviously, aluminum is about the most abundant material out there. Uh, and also, the price of aluminum has been dropping a lot. So, thing is, it's the technology is not... Um, it's actually a combination, I think, of uh, aluminum and graphene, but um, it's instead of using a lithium as an anode or a cathode or whatever the hell it is, they're going to be using, um, uh, you know, instead of using a lithium, they're going to be using the uh, aluminum, which is abundant, cheap, lightweight, flexible, durable, charges way faster. The only drawback is, is that it's less volts. But that's not a problem because actually just connected in a series is going to make the voltage change, right? Just like anything. But it could charge in a minute versus hours. I mean, you know, you can't do all that stuff with a lithium battery. It's it's ridiculous. I, I don't know when it's going to be out, though. But it's I don't think it's going to take too long. I don't think it's going to take too long because, you know, once you're going to... You know, one of the biggest problems even with uh, solar power and things like that, this could be a solar-powered hairdo. Maybe this could be a solar power pair do too i don't know maybe <laughs> or maybe just be wearing solar powered clothes and it would you know partly solar powered uh, panels and partly uh batteries that flex and fold right uh even if you get a tear in a battery it still works you know so you know <laughs> it could be a fashion statement and uh, you could be the body electric in uh, more ways than one so <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of going off on a tangent on this, but, but you know, it's it's interesting that it's really a, re, a bona fide technology. Uh, it looks like aluminum is going to replace lithium as a material in batteries. And the big deal is the charging rate. You know, I, I was sort of thinking before about using uh, super capacitors versus batteries. And you can actually use a type of super capacitor in a, in a cell phone, which would only take like, you know, a minute to charge versus hours. Here they already got the technology in battery form, but, but using aluminum. And I'm like thinking, you know, when the hell is this going to be out? They're saying it's not going to be out right away, but, it, you know, it's like once it starts filtering out and once they got the technology developed, um, you know what's going to happen. This is going to be very commonplace. So, you know, the future is actually pretty damn bright in a lot of ways, in more ways than one, besides being shiny silver. Now, um, <laughs> but, you know, actually, I got to point this out because, you know, I have a lot of videos out on silver and silver channel. You know, this is one of the things, like, you know, you look like lithium was the thing. You had to have it for batteries. You had to have it batteries. You know, you couldn't do it without, you know, these high-tech batteries without lithium. And guess what? They found something else that could replace it, aluminum. So, you know, you never know that even silver itself, you know, if the price goes up too high, 
guess what can possibly happen? Maybe a combination of aluminum and graphene could replace it. When that's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. You know? Like every, anything, it's an up and down, it's an up and down. Things spike up, things crash, things spike up, things crash. And, uh, you know, if you're an investor, just don't be afraid to sell when things spike up. You know, you might not catch the top, but it doesn't mean you're not going to lose out and do okay. You know what I mean? So in the meantime, we got a pretty bright feature for aluminum uh, and battery technology. I found this very interesting. It's the aluminum is not going to have the dangers of flammability like lithium. It's going to be foldable. It's going to be more durable. You can even have a hole or drilled into it or tear. It still works. You know, in other words, it doesn't catch on fire and stuff like that. It charges in a minute versus hours. And once it gets developed, where this process is, uh, you know, it, a ongoing manufacturing process, the aluminum is going to be far cheaper because it's so much more abundant than lithium. So, hey, you know, good things on the horizon. Anyway, figured to pay pass this on. It's, a, it's something interesting. It's uh, actually um, it was developed at Stanford, do, 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 Stanford University, I believe it was. And uh, so, you know, it's going to actually change the electric car, too. And that's another thing because, you know, one of the biggest problems with the electric car is the weight of the batteries. I mean, maybe you can get by with more volume, taking up more space, but the batteries weigh a lot. Plus, also, you got to watch out for fires because the lithium batteries, they catch on fire due to a car accident. Oh, my God. But, you know, I was almost thinking about the wearable tech. You know, this is almost like a person could be walking around with a computer, a uh, hologram type computer, um, powered by solar panels on their clothes and lithium, uh, I mean, uh, uh, aluminum batteries that are actually wearable, <laughs> that are lightweight. We could be walking around like computers, man, all the knowledge in the world, you know? It's like, uh, you know, if you're out there working on the car, like old girl here is out there working on her um you know, a 1932 coupe, Ford, or whatever the hell it is. You know, she wants to pull up the manual on what uh, the torque specifications are on the Flathead 6. Hey, she can just pull it up, right, with her with her battery-charged uh, computer, right? With the solar panels, right? I'm sure, right? Anyway, a lot of uses. I'm <laughs> just kidding around. So, anyway, it's uh, some pretty cool tech, and uh, it looks like it's going to be reality a lot faster than you think. You know, 100 years from now, I can't imagine what's going to be around, and I plan to be around with all my good health web videos, and uh, we shall see what the future has to bring. Many good things.